What's going on, everybody? Mario here. Guys, you know, I went to the FFL to buy some ammo. And I walked out with this. A Taurus 85 Ultralight 38 Special Revolver. Um, and, oh, by the way, it shoots plus P. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. Just so everybody sees, it's unloaded. Oh, crap. There you go. Unload it. So, chill out, guys. All right, guys. So, let's talk a little bit about this weapon here. Uh, you know, this uh, M85 comes in two colors. It comes in a, um, a mate stainless steel, and it also comes in this blue version here. So, obviously, as you guys can see, it has a rubber grip. Uh, it is about 21 ounces, uh, empty without any uh, weapon, I mean, any rounds in the chamber. Uh, the height is 4.8 and the width is 1.36. Okay. It comes with a, uh, lifetime warranty. Um, although their warranty, I know Taurus has been still working on their, on their warranties. Uh, they've had some issues in the past, uh, but I think they're working to, uh, get, uh, become, become more proficient at it. Um, the uh, Taurus, 80, uh, Taurus USA is actually based out of Miami, Florida, and um, they are doing uh, they're doing some great things out there, guys. Um, but you know, let's talk a little bit about the M85. This is the number one selling revolver that Taurus makes out there, and they make different models. They make the ultralight, uh, like you see here, which is like a titanium aluminum body. They make uh, the regular M85 that comes in regular steel frame. Uh, they make uh, they make the Taurus View M85. Uh, they make a poly version of this. Uh, you know, Taurus is kind of you know it, it it's kind of the innovator when it comes to guns. You know, some other designs are kind of funky as hell, but you know, like the Taurus Curve, like what the hell is that crap? But anyways, guys, but one thing I can say about Taurus revolvers is that they are really good. They're very dependable. I All the friends that I have that have had Taurus revolvers, they've never had an issue with any of the revolvers. You know, I have friends that have Taurus Judge. They have a Taurus 605, the Taurus 65. Uh, you know, a couple guys that have Taurus 85. I shot my friends 85, by the way. And that's the reason why I, I had to jump on this. But for the longest, guys... These things were a little too expensive for me, or I couldn't justify myself buying it because maybe a hundred dollars more I could have got myself a pistol. So, you know, that's the reason why for the longest I kind of held out on on uh, purchasing a revolver. Um, if you guys are gonna notice that there's a lot of features on the Taurus Ultralight that look very similar to uh, a Smith and Wesson revolver. Um, well, in all honesty, um, you guys need to understand something about Taurus is that Taurus is one of the biggest manufacturers out there in the gun world. And people don't know it, you know, um, and they they have co collaborated with Smith & Wesson in the past where they shared ideas and all that kind of stuff. So that's the reason why you see Taurus makes a lot of weapons that look very similar to their competition. But, of course, they're not getting sued for it because they collaborated. So, uh, you know, they're being smart about it. Uh, yes, this, this weapon is made in Brazil. I know a lot of people have a tendency of talking smack about, uh, about Taurus. Even people from Brazil have a tendency of talking crap about Taurus. Um, uh, but I do think that they are improving a lot on their quality control and customer care. Um, it is not perfect, but in reality, which company is, man, you know? Um, if you guys notice, even the even the the trigger guard is very similar to a, a, a Smith and Wesson. The the uh, release for the um, the cylinder is very similar. Uh, a lot of the things that are are made in this pistol are very similar to a Smith and Wesson. Um, but uh, what got me intrigued in this is that. Um, my, like I was telling you, I was going to see my FFL for some ammo and they had this thing for two forty nine, dollars and, um, after the $40 melon rebate, it's going to be two oh nine, dollars and I was like, wow, 
that's really cool. I'm down with that. So I ended up putting the money for it and then just got it, man. Because um, you need to understand about where I live is that when deals come, you, you, you put down your money, man. Because we don't get that many good deals here where I live in California. So you got you to gotta take advantage of them when they come. So, you know, I mean, after the $40 uh, million re $40 million rebate, which ends on October 31st, by the way, you guys have until November 5th to postmark your uh, your, re your rebate in order for you to get the $40 in. Um, but, uh, you know, can't beat it, man. It's a, it's a good little revolver. I've heard so many good positive things on the M85. Um, and I've shot this before for my friend of mine. Um, I've shot the Torch Judge, like I was telling you guys, and that thing's a beast. That thing scared the crap out of me. Um, and I've always loved revolvers because I think to me they're works of art, man. You know, whether it's a simple snubby like this or the the bigger, uh, the bigger revolvers the Smith and Wesson makes, man. These things are just beautiful, man. Now my ultimate revolver would be a, a Smith and Wesson six eight six plus. Every time I look at that thing, I'm like, uh. I want that. Yeah, but, you know, maybe that's for later. But uh, for now, I'm not. This is a great little concealed carry piece, guys. It's also good for home defense. Um, one thing I can tell you about a revolver is that once you master it and you get used to the trigger, uh, you will be very accurate with a revolver. A lot more accurate than, I, than I've ever been with a pistol. And that's no joke, guys. I'm, I'm being honest with you. Um... I feel that revolvers, once you master that trigger, once you get a little bit of more training time and trigger time with it, you're going to be really good at it. Um, so it, it does have a double action, single action mode on this, um, and you can shoot 38 plus P on it. But the only uh, downside to the ultralight compared to the regular uh, steel version is that it's a bit more snappy to shoot, you know, obviously because you're about six or seven ounces less on the frame uh, a weight so therefore it's going to be a little more snappy for you uh, but uh, if you really look at the uh, benefits of this of this uh, revolver it's uh you know i i think i think they outweigh the negatives so um the sight system as you guys can see is very basic uh oh, sorry very basic and it uh, uh what i'm probably going to end up doing is just painting this uh the front side here just so I have better uh, target acquisition. Um, so that's that's pretty much it, guys, on this on this revolver. Uh, let me do talk about the uh, safety features. It does come with a um, a key, and this goes inside the that little well that you see right there on the trigger. So if you turn this key into it, it'll lock this. Uh, it'll lock the hammer. So therefore, the uh, weapon cannot be engaged. So it's a good little feature like if for some reason you don't have, you can't afford a lockbox yet but you have kids around you know you could definitely lock your your, your weapon and uh you know you 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 know you can prevent a negligent discharge or somebody you know killing themselves because you know we have a tendency of having kids that you know do stupid stuff but uh, uh it's, it's a good little feature for that uh it's a good little feature for just feeling a little safer um, the only downside to this is that just trying to find the key as you know, if an emergency comes, you know, how do I get to it? That's the only downside to this. Um, so why is Taurus selling this so cheap right now? Uh, well guys, uh, I've heard from a little birdie that Taurus is actually, uh, selling these as fast as they can because in about a year or two they're going to introduce their generation two of this model of revolver here and um so that's the reason why they're they're they have dropped the price so uh, drastically on this uh, revolver because technically these are going about 320 350 you know normal msrp so for in some cases picking this up for 200 dollars it's as a substantial substantial savings, guys. Um, so another thing you guys want to make sure you look at is make sure that your barrel, uh, the you know the connection with the barrel and the uh, frame connect, and make sure that it's nice and straight. Um, luckily for me, I got a I got a pretty pretty straight uh, barrel, but I know for a fact that I've seen some videos where 
uh, these are kind of crooked or it's kind of uneven. So, you know, that, that can sometimes have a tendency of, of hurting your shot group and, and stuff like that. But these are kind of like little things you guys got to look at. But, you know, guys, for $200, you can't beat it, man. And, you know, for me to just drop some money on this just out of the blue, I mean, I don't, I don't drop money on anything because I don't make that much money. Uncle Sam don't pay me that much. So, <clears throat> you know... Uh, for me to drop some money on this and get it right away is uh, because I, I I believe in, in the product, you know. Um, uh, does Taurus have their issues with uh, registration and all that? I mean, not registration, but uh, their warranty? Uh, yes, it's been documented, you know, but I still think that they're doing a, a better job, you know, than a lot of other companies. And they're outputting many other companies in their products. So, um but, you know, guys, overall, for 200 bucks, you can't beat it, man. You know, it's a good little gun. Uh, it's definitely a good a good first gun for female shooters or for those that are just starting out uh, because it's simple. You know what I mean? You just point and shoot, and then you can't beat that. So, guys, I'm done ranting. I hope you guys found my video informative. Like always, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And I'm out.